On this beloved day, you find out secret agendas are not so secret, or at least people like to think. They're not as secret as people would have liked them to be, or they're not as secret as it may seem. Taurus, Sammy the Bull. Take the positive side of me calling y'all Sammy the Bull. Because Sammy the Bull technically got his feelings hurt when the police manipulated him against Irv Gotti to tattletale because they made it, they manipulated him into thinking Irv Gotti was two faced. Sorry, John Gotti. Irv Gotti is an entertainer, as a producer. Sorry, John Gotti. Correction, the Teflon Don is who I'm talking about. I so apologize. Listen. There's going to be, there's going to be an experience or an encounter or somebody's trying to clear up or clean up a mess. Something about Teflon, the material, what Teflon is, we mop the floor with that. That's something that, that's very slippery. It doesn't, nothing sticks. It's very smooth. Okay. They called him a Teflon guy because he was, he was untouchable for so long. And they, they, what they did was manipulate Sammy the Bull into snitching on him. That's how he got in trouble. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar Seed. And I hope this is not another stoic message for y'all today. Because I want to I want to I want to be free. I want to be happy. I'm getting all these vibes about being happy, being free. I just want to be in love. I'm gonna be a young girl forever. In love with my man. Or to switch it around. Keep in mind, take what resonates. Leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. So you may have someone approaching you to get you to tell on your loved ones. This is somebody, this is a, a big test for somebody because they get ready to test your gangster. Somebody wants to see where your heart is. I don't think that's the person that wants to see where your heart is, is the one necessarily or directly manipulating you. But what I do see is that someone is going to come test your gangster and see if you want to tell on your loved ones or see if they want to manipulate heartstrings or pull on your heartstrings to see if you're still mad at them. This will tell this person that's got to stand by on pins and needles and wait to see if you're still mad at them. If your hurt feelings are hurt by them. Did you turn on me? Do you still love me? Are we still friends? Is there anything that is kind of, that could, that could, that could really bind us together? Someone is praying. And this is the, the, the new do I pray that I like to say, um, I've been saying this prayer for the past week. O oh, you who arranged for Yusuf, alayhi salam, arrange my affairs for me, fix my condition, and provide for me. O oh, Lord, and protect me from the evil of your creation. O oh, Allah, fulfill my need, relieve my distress, and relieve my anxiety, O oh, Lord. Somebody is in trouble, and you would be the one thing or the one person, the one, I don't want to call you a thing. You would be the resource to propel them forward in victory. But they also realized after the way I treated him or her, he or her, him or her may not want to hear it. They may not be necessarily upset. This is giving me some years. Okay. So someone's severely praying because now I'm ready to say another prayer. Oh Lord, let there be separation between me and my sins as you've caused separation between the east and the west oh god cleanse me of my sins as a white cloth is cleansed of dirt oh Allah, wash my sins with water snow and hail i mean that is in sahih al-bukhari if you're a person who studies religion i just want to it just feels like somebody somebody wants to redeem themselves somebody really wants your friendship back somebody realized i may have loved this person i know i had feelings for this person but I couldn't do nothing for this person or with this person at the time of knowing them. I, I couldn't move. I was so, I had my, it's like my neck was squeezed so tight by my, my collar was squeezing my neck so tight. I could barely breathe. I had to survive through that, whatever that entails. Somebody really wants to set the record straight. I just really want to make amends with you. I just really want to be in support of you. I just really want to. Somebody's just going to really let it down. Like, I'm in love with you. Like, I just want to be your friend. Okay? I don't want to make you feel like you don't have nobody. That must have been real difficult for you. So, but all the while this person's feeling like that, 
you don't know if that's manipulation to help you to help them get a victory but what you do know is that there there were feelings there that they were afraid there wasn't something there there was something real strong and bold and honest and free-spirited and somebody needs all of that it's like everything i chose over you cost me money cost me friends cost me time cost me resources cost me things you got the chariot moving forward in blind faith you had to do that with everybody bucking up against you now you got all that horsepower pushing you forward somebody's an entrepreneur but the chariot is the cancer it's a part of the cancer energy you don't know where it's going to take you you just took a risk you planned it you took a risk I feel like that light coming out of her skirt, this is like coming from her solar plexus chakra. So someone could have attacked it. Even sacral chakra, because she's actually wearing red. This card has a lot of red hues in it. So it could be sacral chakra too. And but it's root chakra. Let's start from the beginning. Because on the bottom was clarifying that is the two of cups. Somebody they really banking on you holding on, holding a candle or lighting a candle and, you know, for best choice of words, keep a candle lit for me because I got to go, you just, you ain't know the, you don't know the stuff, the war, the war that, the war that they have, they have to endure. I heard, but this time you brought it on yourself. This could be somebody really trying to like talk kind of sense to this person. It's like, this could be somebody confiding in a friend or a business colleague and they knew a lot. They could have known a lot about what's going on in the experience. And this person, the person that I hear, but you brought this on yourself. This is a female's voice, but you brought that on yourself. And she is somebody who, okay, you don't have to agree with everything she say, but you value that she tells the truth. No matter what, it's somebody worthy of respect. And this person is like, you saw what this person went through. You saw too thin. Even if this person didn't know to every depth and nook and crane of what was going through, what this person might have been going through, you knew. You knew. And you just stood by. Honestly, I'm your friend and all that, or this is, I'm your colleague. You know, I, I'm a, I'll always have your back. But why did you stand by like that? You hear that? How somebody, it's just like somebody snuck out the back door. It's like, why Why did you do that? If that? I don't know if the camera picked that up. The door closed and shut. They want to know, why Why did you walk out, the, walk out on this person? That's abandonment. The Ace of Pentacles. So it's an opportunity that somebody's going to get to really tell, tell, say what happened. They get to say what happened. They get to try to mend the friendship. They get the opportunity and they really hope and let's, I need some clarity. At least in this opportunity, you will know, because this is water and earth energy. You'll be, you'll know if this friendship was solid or not. Because now this person needs you to be solid for them. And even when they wasn't all that solid with you, they got to come back and make that right to have, ask for your help. So there's some kind of trial. Something is going, somebody's trying to look. You got people on your ass. That's what I heard. This chariot is a resource. And this Ace of Pentacles is a resource. And the Two of Cups is in between. You made this person feel like that's not the opportunity. Next opportunity. Because you skated on them. We're moving forward. Not knowing what's going to happen. Not really caring. You just knew you wanted to move forward. You knew that for sure. And this person said. And it's funny how they both looking in the same direction. If you can see it. And this person is like, okay, well, next opportunity. Well, well, let's further amplify. Because now they see you in a different, they now they, they see things, they see you in a different light. They see you still kind of solid because you're showing up as the earth energy, the pentacle, the opportunity. For what though? The thorn. Wow. Protection, boundaries, clear communication. Does that not sum up everything I just explained? And after what happened, after what you did, this person may not want to hear it. You see how there's roses on both of them. Both of them. Well, both pictures. She has roses in her hair. That same rose is right here. There's something real important about what you do. And that the, the Ace of Pentacles is green. It has that green background. So in my heart of hearts, 
I don't know, protection, boundaries, clear communication. Obviously, you have a way to protect this person. You have a way that you could you could tell the truth. You're a truth teller. When I see the Ace of Pentacles, I see a truth teller, and it's in the upward. I also see that people lied on your character. I see that too. I see that you ain't really have no way out. That it was your neck that was squeezed tight. The collar was squeezing your neck so tight, they thought you was just going to collapse. So how can somebody say, okay, by me saying it like that, somebody buckled under pressure. Somebody couldn't take that, that pressure to stand by you. Now somebody keeps praying. I done prayed a couple of times, and that's fine. But someone keeps praying now because it's like, now I'm in this trial. I'm in a trial of error or a trial period or something like that. Grace. <laughs> oh, wow. And power. Seeing that you have the power to sink a ship, to really put the... put. Put them down, stop them. How do you how do they feel like you have the power to stop them? They realize their power is with you. Because it's two cats right here looking at each other. You, you, your power, you have access to this person in ways nobody else does. Look at that. You see the two cats? It's in the brown and white, it's in a vintage style, but there's two cats at the bottom. And then there's you two. You see the two fish? Two. There's others around. It's like you, you have a college degree. I'm going to give you an example. Who you are to this person. And I feel like the way I'm explaining it is this person is trying to make it very clear to you who you are to them. And even though it's a shitty, it's a sticky situation surrounding us, that's not my intentions for telling you who you are to me. Lately, I can't stop doing it to you. Thinking about you in all these vulnerable spaces or a space where you would typically be vulnerable. So maybe a sexual encounter, drinking, anything tangible, physically tangible. It brings you right up, brings you right to the surface, brings everything that I keep to, to a bare minimum to the, to the surface. Okay? Just a second, guys. So there's a... Um, this person just really wants to tell you what you are to them. And then on the bottom of the deck is surrender. So something about your grace. It's just they just see things now from a different perspective. Your grace is what propelled you forward. Let me read something. And then I hear that somebody, somebody may have had a sexual encounter with your person to weaponize, to seal the deal about y'all moving forward. You take, you created another opportunity with somebody else. And he, he's got to get honest with that. He's got to tell you, listen, and clear it with the thorn here, which I don't mean to be a pain in your ass, but I slept with your sister or I slept with your friend. I slept with your cousin, but I didn't know it was your, I didn't know they were that kind of close to you. Until after the fact that, until after it was done, I was under the influence. I did things just so you're not look. It, it was all meant. I get it that they was trying to make you look like a fool, or they was really just trying to like uh, invalidate anybody for you, Taurus or Taurus placements. No matter where you have Taurus at, Sun, Moon, Rising, any planetary placement, twelve houses. Um, north no south no doesn't matter where you have it at put it where it applies but this is somebody who wanted to invalidate you or just invalidate anybody's em emotional support or any kind of support anybody who wanted to show up for you they wanted to, to taint it or just poison it or poison a person's mind against you or you could have done that to somebody or be a, a played a, a, a significant enough Part in it with the two of cups here that's close and friends family or business or love all of it was meant to just tear everything apart someone thought they had the most savage plan to tear everything down for you or you was a part of somebody tearing something down for somebody else without really considering you know the way you were being misused and abused 
to have misused and abused somebody else, to invalidate somebody else. But when you see power, it's like many feel helpless and victimized by your power and your ruthless grip that you have on your own self, your well-being, your, own, your physical health, mental health, spiritual health. You have authentic power. But it does come with that ability to recognize and discern its core meaning. It could take a lot of years, if not lifetimes. So if someone was not counting on you knowing who you are. It's like they could have recognized who you are, but I don't want you to know who you who you are. Damn, Taurus. It's too bad you have to go through that. You're called to pause take heart and return to the miraculous simplicity of the moment live in the moment and when somebody comes to reconnect with you or at least have a conversation with you to reconcile to clear things up they want your loving kindness or see you as a loving kindness of god especially when the ace of pentacles is here that is the helping hand of god so somebody sees you as that and it's like you're my my best resource for success it's too bad i turned my back on it when i needed it the most or when you needed me the most it was all a test though at the end of the day i also see the ace of swords i see the ace of swords so why was this a significant part of your spiritual journey Taurus? let's figure out why what did this strengthen for you Taurus? Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. See, it was meant to do you wrong so you could step into your power. And what's further amplifying that is your karmic relationship. So when I, when you see this card, polarity, soul growth, conflict, this is about moving closer. Instead of people, instead of people move, it's easy to separate from somebody when you're in conflict with them. Or you're just different, you know, completely different people. Or stand for completely different things. And somebody used that to their advantage. So if you were a two different sects of religion. One is Christian, one is Jewish. Or one is Muslim, one is Christian. You know, you get what I'm saying? Someone weaponized that to keep you separate. Even though you knew you were a two of cups with somebody. That's a dual education. Like you thought of every, every reason why it was a beautiful thing. A beautiful friendship and someone else found every reason why you're enemies to each other and so they and they weren't going to stop until you were officially enemies to each other somebody pushed you into creating a space that's right for you so now you're mirroring what was done to you now you're the one that's doing it and hope and people are hoping that you still obtain that same level of grace that kindness of god now that they want to grow closer to you through conflict and the conflict was they were disloyal to you or they didn't do enough by you they feel like they failed you or even if they didn't initially feel like they failed you they do now they realize i failed this person like they're playing back everything in the way it played out it's like this person may not want to hear it but okay i'm gonna try anyway only to have the faded life Versus the destiny life. So this person had a recognition or now has a recognition of who you are. And now they want to rush in and talk to you. I want to talk to you. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. I just feel like you're at peace. Let's see if they do this. I just do. Sorry. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Family. Don't they always pull you down quick in a stranger? And dance. So it's a family member. It's a family member who feel like they fucked up some excuse me. They messed up something with you. Family who feel like they failed you now that they they may have need they may need you now or or you may have feel like you failed somebody dancing to me is like an abundance of joy like you feel good when you dance you release in you know endorphins and things like that just 
I wish I could just go out, call call him or her up. Hey, let's go dancing at such and such. It was a time when y'all were that kind of close. And y'all not no more. And something's wrong. You grew distant at the behest of your inferior. Because that's not a superior person. Or well, somebody who has a superior, it's really somebody who has a superiority complex about you. Or you had it about somebody else. I just feel like a lot of appeasing. This is giving me, I'm appeasing you even if the situation is not right. Obviously, I wouldn't like it if somebody played in my face and like we're a certain level of cool and we're not. So this wanted to fly out. So they intuitively think this is purple. So they intuitively think if this were your last day alive, what would you have done differently? You still have the chance to do things differently. So that could be why the Ace of Pentacles is there. But you have boundaries up. Somebody keeps saying, after the way I treated her or him, they may not want to hear it. What if they don't want to hear it? When you communicate your needs and establish your boundaries, it just, it not only allows you to feel safe, but for the people that you respectfully have a, some some sort some sort of a relationship with it it doesn't have to be romantic it could be any nature of a relationship you want them to feel safe too so clearly somebody was insecure and they tore down a more secure or a relationship that could have had the potential to be more secure had yet not turned the page on somebody somebody moved forward with a decision so I'll give you an example. If you got cousins or siblings or something, one sibling is jealous of the other sibling and you got a mutual sibling. You could have manipulated that mutual sibling to go against the other sibling because you were insecure. Or somebody did that to you. And you knew it was dumb, but you did it anyway. Not caring about the consequences. Hold on, I have to call. Because that's my throat chakra. I'm itching. My throat is itching. Hold on, I have to call. That is significant coughing like that somebody don't want somebody don't want to hear they that they, their truth their truth tastes better it sound better it looks better it's just in poor taste they don't want to hear what they did that was foul play it's about clear communication boundaries and taking responsibility to be clear with others and you got to be clear with yourself and you got to communicate to be able to communicate with somebody you expect somebody to think, or well, somebody expects you to think they respect you. And you know that they was moving funny towards you, and you, you, they want you to believe that they have respect for you. But I don't, you're not going to buy that. They know, they know in their heart of hearts that is, she's not going to buy that. He's not going to buy that. Okay? It is what it is. So I don't know if, if they're surrounding people that might be encouraging these people to say, hey, if you know you got to make something right, you know you did something foul, you should go make it right. If you know you did something foul, you should go make it right. Okay? Council of Light. Somebody wants to repent. In order to repent, you have to apologize to make peace with the person. At least give the person a chance to know, hey, repentance don't really count if you won't do it in your separate corner and not make things right with the person if you offended somebody or caused harm to somebody that's what the problem is if someone feels like or someone realized the type of harm they put you in not giving a damn not thinking just being dumb i would just say it you know the type of harm you put that person in whether it be mental spiritual physical you was helping somebody cause harm what was right with you? What does that say about you? Like you don't believe, you don't really fit the bill. Maybe there's a, a I see the hierophant. Okay, this one is a flip over. It's like three parts. They want to flip over. Birthing a new age, birthing new creation, new creations, crumbling. What are you clinging to? The double mission. This is you starting over, or the person who got betrayed is who started over. They just created something better for themselves. So is it? Let's let's act straight up. I mean, it can sound a little insecure for the person to ask the question, but I don't think they have a right to be called insecure when they know. They know. They were silent. What are you clinging to? The crumbling tower. Somebody maybe wants to manipulate the past against you. 
But if you're serving your purpose for humanity with the double mission card here, you didn't really look back to see if somebody was apologetic towards you or not. It's like the thing where it's like moving on with no apology. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So your new world don't consist of any of these resources. Because they 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 didn't they they were foul. It's just foul play. I just see a lot of foul play. I see a lot of secret agendas. For no reason. No reason at all. So what about so I'm gonna tell you what I heard. Somebody wants to use a counterpart. To help them get to you. But the counterpart. Is so over it. It's like. I'm, I am already in, feel entangled. In a bunch of shit. I already feel like I'm too above to be in anyway. So do not ask me. To bear witness to anything. That you clearly know. Is stupid. This person is pushing everybody away. Like find somebody else. I'm booked and busy. So it was like, it was all fun when he ain't know half the shit he knew. He was just playing around. It was like, he didn't know that they was catering. He was, they was trying to pull him into something that went against his counterpart. That was really your friend. Why you do your friend like that? Is this person wasn't ready to drop the ego. And I don't mean it in a malicious way. It's just, it's just sound like the, the counterpart didn't give a fuck. Like, I, I don't think that far into it. He was downplaying his emotions, his pride, or her pride. Queen of Wands. This she's fucking beautiful. Remember Lady Heroin from Harlem Nights? Harlem Nights. I don't even look at color girls, but she's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. And what's the, clarifying that is the death of transformation. She she rocked your world, counterpart. You over there with your world rocks. She changed death of transformation. She an alchemist, whoever y'all thought y'all was running over like a pushover or like a weak link or like you just bold faced disrespected. She felt she was she has every right to feel how she feel or how he feel. Somebody is sexy. Like I still think about her breasts. That's what I heard. Look, with her shirt, her breasts. I still think about her breasts. That's enough. That is enough. Shuffle for Taurus. <laughs> Change like this person like she nipped all this in the bud without having to touch nobody somebody also wish you get washed away at sea in a tornado so when i see also when i see the crumbling what are you clinging on to you want to look at it that's what it looks like it looks like a tower card it's like split a split tower it's supposed to be together but it's a split tower but this gives me the, the story about Pharaoh drowning in the ocean. I did a reading like a year ago where I was talking about the people are not going to be able to come with you. Once you cross that bridge, that bridge is going to sink. So can't they going to be stuck back there? Or are you going to be up somewhere else? You're going to be somewhere else. It's going to be a real big division between you and the people you trusted the most. And that's coming full circle. When I see this now, I didn't think about that until I saw looked at the card again. You see that guy? It's like it's like the lightning. He split. That's a segregation. You in secret. You maybe somebody has secret agendas where they made a. They was in their heart of hearts. It was a segregation. They were not loyal to you. So now, this 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 whole thing. This whole tower that was built with. Family, friends, or colleagues, romantic partners, everybody who built this this foundation off the back of your well-being. Maybe for a victory. It's split for you to go through. They try to follow you, they, they drowned. So what they wish for you happened to them. Clearly. A table, they turn. They turn. And then there's the Ace of Cups. That's the truth. Somebody wants to reciprocate your love. With the six of pentacles and then there's the ace of pentacles somebody wants to wants to call you text you email you maybe speak to you they want to speak to you they want to get a message to you but to no avail you're not available they don't have a way to reach you with the seven of wands or you don't have a way to reach them unless you take a chance 
to go talk to them. Which is kind of like, how they say it? Like, looking for a needle in a haystack. It's like very, very, like, what are the odds? Like, I can't waste resources being illogical, being impractical. Even though it's in my heart of hearts of a desire to find this person. Now, you do have the Ace of Pentacles twice and the Ace of Cups. So, somebody do does want to make things right. If I did something to, to mess up your finances, if I did something to mess up your, your family dynamic or your friends, if I even... I, I ruined a lot of resources. Somebody's coming real clean. I ruined a lot of resources for you. And the Ace of Cups is here. Realizing what you had now that that person made a lot out of nothing or made, they didn't have very much to work with. These are op endless opportunities now. And they're on your side or on the person's side, on this Queen of Wands side. And she has the power. And her energy is pulled in a different direction. It's just two. Somebody, the same people who help mess up a, a business arrangement or a friendship or a love of some sort want to help you put it back together. Only the problem is they don't know how, they don't, you don't want to hear it. And that person don't want to be a part of it. And they're ironic because I hear it. They're like, you're so arrogant. Well, was I arrogant when y'all was doing what y'all was doing? I wasn't arrogant then. I don't want to do it. Someone's real desperate for answers. Someone is like trying to retrace their steps to fix something. Mm. Well, what about this, this counterpart? This counterpart, like they, they've been like up all night. They're up. They think, of, they think a lot about you. There's no stories out here, but they do. They talk a lot about you. It's somebody like, I don't want to hear it. The seven of Wands, I don't want to hear it. They keep trying to get a message across. Like, I don't want to hear it. So even if this person, even if you and your counterpart speak to each other and they, he, they, y'all make things right, he's not going to tell anybody he talked to you. He's not going to tell nobody. Because he know the drama that come with it now. It's like, oh shit, I, I you know what? I see your boundaries. I, I see your point. I see your point. I don't I don't want to. But this person also would be a fool to not want to do things differently with you. You still have a chance to do things differently. So someone could be could continuously keep seeing confirmations or seeing signs of synchronicities that, hey, I want to talk to you. I keep seeing Big trying to well, you know when he really wanna to talk to Carrie, he aggressively pursues her. That's the energy. Like you can see their name if you're driving out and about or say you 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 deal with people you deal with clients and you see their name you see different like landmarks that has signs of synchronicities that represents them i saw somebody's door today that has all this religious stuff on the door like it's wood and it was built onto the door it has like the, the, the Christian symbols, like the cross and all that, like on the door. Like I thought that was like really interesting to have double doors. It was a huge door. So it was a, a nice size house. It was like big doors, but the, the details of the house looks like, I don't know, old Spanish, old Mediterranean. It looks, it looked nice. I'm not a, a Christian, but I don't apostate from my religion disregarding Christianity, if that makes sense. That's a whole nother conversation. I feel like I'll make a video to, to talk about about that. Like, what do Muslims believe? How do how do you bridge the gap with everything? I'll, I'll tell you another day. But I saw that it was like paying attention to details. The details, like somebody actually handcrafted that door, the moon. So you have Cancer energy and Pisces energy. This gives me lovers under the moon. You see the dogs? Usually they're howling at the moon together. But these these two, somebody wants to keep it low key, or somebody you don't know that somebody wants to bring you back. They want you back. Like I, I think about you. Look how the moon has a face, and his eyes is closed. So in his intuition, he knows you. You don't see it coming because you have the blindfold on. So everything is not revealed yet. Like it's like what's done in the dark. You don't know that this person has been secretly. Maybe they're watching you. Or they manifesting you. They're trying to bring you back into a certain space 
with them. Well, on, on, on the bottom of it is the star. <laughs> okay, the heel, the optimism. They're trying to be optimistic, but I feel like this person has been trying this for a long time. But to no avail, they don't have a lot of results. But they, they, they keep trying. They try to bring it into fruition. But this is somebody who probably is more of the aggressor. When they want something, they pursue it. But that that's that very same thing is like you have to let it. You planted the seeds. You have to give it the oxygen to bring it into fruition. He doesn't know how to do that because he's so in his emotions. With the two of cups in the moon or she doesn't know how to do that. It's almost like an obsession. And this, this person, you see how she looks sorry. She looks very sorry you know how this this got dumped out i hear it throw the baby out with the bath water kind of thing like you said fuck this this is she's in a tub that looks like a heart so somebody is sorry about their their deeds that was done in secret that's aquarius energy but they they are not very pleasant about what they did in secret can have a lot to do with their body, being as though her body has no clothes on it. Like her sins, she, this person feels humiliated. That's what I get from it. I feel like a scarlet. That's what it is. This guy, her face looks like, I don't know what to do. It's not enough baths I can take to wash this sin off of me. So it's like, you, somebody, you ever hear somebody have a breakthrough and they start to tell their truth? It's killing me inside. It's eating away at me. That I have this secret and I, I want to say something because I want to repent. I want peace. It's eating away at me. The secret, I'm like being ripped apart here. I see Adriana crying from The Sopranos where she's crying. I'm snitching on everybody I love, all my friends. The man I love, the man I want to marry, I'm snitching on him and his family. I'm being ripped apart here. Remember, they was had a wedding shower or something, some kind of bridal shower or something they had for her. And she was just in the corner crying. They didn't know what was wrong. They just thought she was drinking too much and she's stressed out. This is all stressing her out. But she's just crying. Like She looked like she was going to say something, but she got scared and just ran away. She just ran away. Like, I can't keep doing this. Like, I'm being ripped apart here with this 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 secret deeds that i did i only did it to appease somebody who's not even worth this person's energy it just sounds like it's a lot of envy and people were made to you can't really make somebody do something but they went along with it anyway knowing it was wrong and they did it anyway so why the tears like the person can't even cry. They just know they feel bad. They feel like trash. So there's a lot of things you don't know. A lot about your people, your close friends, your close family. It's a lot you don't know that was done in the dark. You see that picture? The illustration tells the story. It was done in the dark. You might pick up on it by way of somatic psychic senses. You could be bloated or something because you're picking up on people's energy. Okay, because you can have like a heightened intuition with the moon card. Somebody just wants the sins to be forgiven. Hence, I, I kept praying. Okay. Okay, why do you want to shoot out? See the two of cups and the ten of wands. Now the two of cups is here twice. It's like, it's a burden. It's a burden on me that I'm for, somebody that made friends with the devil. Or did the devil's handiwork and now they bound to him. But in the same token, I did everything to, to ruin this person only to be burdened with all the responsibilities that come with what I did to mess this person's life up or mess up what this person had going for them. It's about the spirit of envy. Meanwhile, you got opportunities or that person has opportunities and opportunities. The Queen of Swords. Yeah. Now they see you now. It's like you're unrecognizable. Okay. You went from this with a warm heart, a warm spirit. Or this was somebody who was a straight bitch to you being a seducer. Being a seducer. You know, just getting the job done. 
or also, but I also see it like you, you got your, you got your own thing going and nobody, you just, you don't come to play. We're not, for, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make my money and I'm here to keep going. Yikes. 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 So you went from this, well, fuck being family oriented. Okay. I'm just going to do me. I'm just going to worry about me. Now this does not make anybody promiscuous by any chance. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you could be a model. So you could be somebody who come from a a, a, you know, a Christian background or I keep saying Christian, a religious background of any sort. It could be anything, Jewish, Muslim, anybody. Going from this, they're like, you know, you sweet, humble, you know, to this. Like you're a fucking rage monster now with this queen of swords. Like look at her face. Like she's looking at you from behind the sunglasses. Like you don't want to play with her. And you're famous for it with the six of wands. And that's karma for somebody with justice, the karmic justice. You did what you did. You did the, the random act of the evil deed. And this is a karma that was made straight. Somebody got real down and dirty too with this, with the justice card being here and the eight of cups. It's like you walked away. But they, I feel like with this eight of cups here, I feel like it's in reverse next to this justice because they can't walk away without making it right. They can't walk away in peace. It's too much emotion. They feel some type of way. And then you have the temperance and the ace of pentacles is here a third time. This was somebody's counterpart. And this is like the leader of a community with the high priestess. This could be the government. This could be, let me, let me, I'm hearing something. Hold on. This just really feel like with the high priestess, what somebody did for an opportunity is reckless. Who do I have to do? If you see the picture, what do I have to do to get ahead? So somebody's just trying to play it off like it wasn't even about you. Or they made this rumor up about you. Okay. This person may have made be notorious for this or like how to... This person don't even represent people unless they do a, a, a strange thing for some change or a strange thing for, for support. And this how he see you now. Even though you may not have done it, or maybe it was you who helped do something like this. Okay? Take it how it resonates. It's just temperance. This person thinks about you a lot. A lot. Or they think about what they did a lot with this tool. Okay. Give me something. What's the two of cups? I think this 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 priest, the high priest, and the temperance is long term marriage. It's long term friends. Like I really just want to make it right. I just want to be your friend. You know, you don't have somebody. You're gonna see this person at an outing, and they're gonna look at you like, wow. And they didn't they almost didn't recognize you. The spirit, like you just you know the the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, and you turn around. It's like I recognize the spirit, but don't recognize this the person because they're used to seeing you like this. And out of nowhere, they see you somewhere out of town somewhere, and they see you like this. A showstopper is what I see. And it's like, damn, that's all I can think about is what I didn't do right. Fuck. Right, what's, the, what's the two of cups? Because that's here a couple times. It's like this ace of pentacles, four aces on the board, and three of them are pentacles. These are oper These are people who have faulty faulty intentions for an opportunity and it goes back to that karmic relationship you didn't forge you, you didn't you forged you didn't follow okay now they want to go closer to you they want you to just forgive them for all their faults y'all on two different playing fields now and they can't beat you you by yourself and it's a whole world of them how you play yourself short like that. They don't want to hear you tell the truth. That Somebody does not want to hear you talk about what they did. Because I see, I hear mental thoughts, mental mental oppression. Two of, the two of cups is the two of wands. It's clarifying. The two of wands clarifying the two of cups. Yeah, I need you to, to keep that candle lit for me. Although I did what I did, I need I need to be there. I need to be with you. Not because you're successful, just because I just need you. I don't know how else to tell you that. This King of Pentacles is saying that. 
or you just a boss, you're just a masculine energy. You got King of Pentacles money, even though you're operating out of the Queen of Swords and at the heart and the soul level, you're really the Queen of Wands. Who is this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn? This is a moon sign. These are moon signs. So this is a couple different people who seized opportunities with you and didn't do right by you. But it's four different resources. And out of these four resources, they're all not related in the same fashion. But these are four different resources who failed. Who failed at trying to take something from you. They lost everything. So if it's pentacles, think of everything that a pentacle represents. Tangible things. Bad health. No money. No connection. God is not bringing anything into fruition. Nothing that's planted. No seeds planted. It came into fruition. Everything backfired. Was done in the dark with this moon. Now they want your healing energy with the star. They just they just want. They just think it should be minimal consequences. It's like the agony of the consequences. Tell me more about the two of cups. The king of cups. Yeah, I'm a player. I like sex with a lot of different people. I just didn't know. I lied because I didn't know her name, babe. I just fucked her. Somebody owe you a big-ass explanation, or at least they feel like they do, with this King of Cups. All this shit that we've been through, and I'm still right here with you. I still want to be with you. I'm still attracted to you. I still care about you. With the Two of, two of Wands, with the Sun Illumination. The, somebody, somebody see you to be as happy and authentic as you are. They just see you doing you. You're not afraid to be you. And they love you more for it. And there's the Empress. So when I see that Queen of Swords and that Empress, you created, uh, you got a business or something. You do. You have a business. Maybe you have a baby too. Because I see fertility. But I really just see you just raise your pay grade. I see that you raise your pay grade with these three Ace of Pentacles. Like, that's three different businesses. And an Ace of Cups. So you got a love and three different opportunities that's going to take off for you. Three different businesses. God approved. And it's love. Whoever you was supposed to be your love and somebody tainted it or tried to invalidate it. The Two of Cups is there twice. And the Two of Wands. Yeah, that's your person. That's your algorithm adjusting so you and your person... To move closer through conflict. It's hard. I heard it's hard being a, a twin flame. They might don't know what that is, but they know how it feels. It's spiritual. It's like unity conscious or something. The nine of pentacles. And the world of fortune. The six of pentacles is here twice too. Reciprocity. So you you good in your hood and your community, you're received well in your community. Just like your person is received well in their community. Y'all come from different worlds, but y'all couldn't be more alike. You dig? Like, y'all come from three, two diff three different worlds. Wow. Two different worlds. Two different backgrounds. Two different cultures. Two different religions. But y'all right for each other. There's no more fighting. It's like the fighting has to stop. See? With the judgment. That's the awakening. Something has to give. Fighting has to stop. Y'all gonna learn how to collaborate with each other to make make ends meet with this Ten Pentacles to make it right, okay? Somebody would rather be you doing all that freaky stuff to them because they soft on you like that. And they go your Queen of Pentacles to match that King of Pentacles. Y'all match each other stability-wise and that Knight of Cups. And then that Page of Wands is here again. And here go you, Queen of Wands. And the King of Wands is right behind you. Y'all just as y'all still just as passionate for each other. Yeah, he does. He dates other women. Yeah, I did what I did, but it's still always you. I would have chose you every single time. So now you got pentacles and wands matching each other. And guess what? The lovers is here to go behind it. And now we got the ace of wands here. That's a baby. I see y'all being possessive over each other because y'all nostalgic about each other. Y'all missed each other with the Six of Cups. This person really is trying to be aggressive and coming in and clear the communication. Like, I don't care if you make me start up as, as an associate. I gotta send you a text every morning. I'm gonna do whatever it takes because I really want you here. 
I really want to be here with you. I'm going to do it. I ain't going to bitch about it neither. I'm going to just check my arrogance at the door and my ego because you changed me with the death of transformation at Queen of Wands. Like, I knew it was you when I first saw you. I knew. Hook, well, you had me hook, line, and sinker the whole fucking time. I just ain't going to tell you everything with the moon. I, I knew you. I knew exactly who you were. Somebody was supposed to uplift humanity with the star, okay? Somebody's Lilith is in Aquarius. Like, that's that, that shadow side, that inner bitch is Aquarius. Like, I know how to make somebody fucking suffer. I know how to make you mad and get your attention if I really freaking wanted to, okay? This is a heartbreaker. This is a seducer. He's always seducing somebody, or she's always seducing somebody. And you could have met a low vibrational match that liked to, that played the game well. But yeah, y'all could do whatever y'all want to me because that's the lifestyle. Like, if somebody was really, like, caught out there, is what I see is like, and there's this man is paying for it, and so is the woman that did it is fucking paying for it. Because your grace, it's something with your grace and your integrity, okay? You dress the part, but you're really just loyal to him. Or he's loyal to you. He just wants to be loyal to you. That's what I'm getting. So you got the timbers and the levers here. And you got the levers here. That's authenticity. Somebody who just recognized me at a soul level. Who just love me for me. They don't just judge me on a surface level. Y'all sex ain't nothing like these, these freak-offs with this page of wands. That's what I said. Somebody was having a lot of freak offs with your person, thinking they was doing something just to be fucking disrespecting you. Or you was disrespecting them. So that's a baby, unconditional love, and three, opportunity for, for business. I feel like with this economy, you should have multiple resources anyway. I do feel like that. Six of Cups is like recognition, nostalgia. And the Four of Pentacles is like, you rose above the pettiness. Four pentacles can be very petty, possessive, penny pension, not feeling like you're not worthy, you don't have enough. Somebody's gonna stop that thing, stop acting like what they do is not enough. It's like, it's a lot of money to be made, and I lost my good luck charm. That's what somebody call you as, is somebody to have Irish in their blood, because I see a lot of the, the, the pictures, the people have red hair. So it's like, I lost my, my lucky charm. That's what they think. You don't know they feel like that about you. You don't know they're a whole geek about you. And these 10 pentacles. That's what somebody's going to, somebody's going to apologize. That old bushel, they better say sorry. Okay? And this is a parting gift for somebody else with these three pentacles. Say, we had our run. We had a good time. The party is over here. You, you're going to give them a rose just as, as a parting gift. Like, go your own way. Somebody bold face talks like that. Like, Go your own way. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. They just straight say what they feel. They don't think about it. They just say what they feel. It's a lot of pentacles out here. Nine of pentacles. Somebody got nine pentacles by themselves. It's like you, you be a punk not to come in and be that 10th pentacle for this person. Like you done made all this on your own. Let me just support you. I just want to support you and just give you 10 more pentacles on top of that nine. That's why the sun card is here. There's 19 pentacles if you really want to look at it. Guys, I hope it all works out for you. It's, it's going to be okay. Whatever somebody did or didn't do, okay, and it hurt you, it hindered you, inconvenienced you. I feel like this is God saying they do have a second chance to do things differently. You even have a second chance to kind to create an opportunity that's going to be that's going to be good for you, but on your own terms, okay. I heard robbing the cradle too. So somebody could have been feeling like, could have been made to feel like a, a pervert. Okay. Every time you use the word, but you learn something about yourself. The but will reveal your limiting belief. It's like a key to unlock the door to your full potential. I see somebody who wrote a book or just a public speaker saying it and people are listening. They listening to what you say. And that's going to give them the confidence and the idea, hey, let me go make this right. I want to go make friends with this this person who's creating nothing but abundance for themselves. It's like the time they see you could have been in an apartment the last time they saw you. Now you got this big ass traditional ass house that looked like a, a whole like you would get lost in it if you walk through it. Like high ceilings, big tall windows as tall as the door. Everything is like huge. It's like the, the echo in the room. You can hear the echo in the room when you speak because the rooms are, are very large. And it, it ain't nothing to you, 
okay so so you can afford that kind of stuff now it's like you live you made a whole no, an, another life for yourself you made some money too along the way but i don't think you thought of it as a way of revenge it's not revenge success you know you always got an envious person that's going to treat it like oh you're trying to be you think you have shit because you got all this stuff no i'm hot shit because i know how to pardon and keep on going I think that's where the real blessings come in that is like you didn't just forgive you actually pardoned the people's errors of judgment because they didn't know what they was doing they knew they they didn't have it in the bag like they thought they did so now they gotta go back and repent to hope that you would uh, accept a, a friendship but i think i don't i think what you did was give them a parting gift thanks but no thanks we had our time together but that was our time together, and I think that's enough for us. And it's really nothing they can say about it because at least you gave them the decency to try to apologize, even though you didn't have to do that. But I feel like you do hear somebody out. You do let them say what they have to say, and then you release them with kindness or pardon them with kindness. Something about your grace. It's your grace. Okay? And they have no choice. It's like it makes them feel 30 times worse because because it makes them feel worse because they know why you're moving like that they know you can never go back to the same you can never be what you once was it's like the, you'll never have the old me again and you made that very clear in such a graceful way so don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time